The following are two similar shapes. We've got two rectangles and we've been given two side lengths for each rectangle. So a scale factor is a number by which a quantity is multiplied by to make it larger or smaller. So in this case, if we think about the lengths of both rectangles, we're told that both shapes are similar. Comparing corresponding sides, we see that if we multiply the height of this rectangle, which is two centimeters, by two, we end up with the height of the second rectangle, which is four centimeters. And similarly, if we multiply the length of this rectangle, which is three centimeters, by two, we end up with the length of the second rectangle, which is six centimeters. And if we want to go backwards, so from the bigger rectangle to the smaller rectangle, then if we divide the height of this rectangle by two, we end up with the height of the smaller rectangle. And if we divide the length of this rectangle by two, we end up with the length of the smaller rectangle. We can say that the length scale factor, or for short LSF, is equal to two. If we multiply each of the lengths of the smaller rectangle by two, we end up with the lengths of the bigger rectangle. And if we divide each of the lengths of the bigger rectangle by two, we end up with the lengths of the smaller rectangle. In this small rectangle, the area would be two times three, which would be six, and our units are centimeters squared. And the area of the larger rectangle would be four times six, which is equal to 24, and our units are centimeters squared. Comparing the areas of both of these rectangles, we can see that if we multiply six by four, we end up with 24. And if we divide 24 by four, we end up with six. So we can say that the area scale factor, or ASF for short, is equal to four. Might be wondering, these two numbers are multiples of each other, is there a relationship? Yes, there is. The area scale factor is equal to four, and four can be written as a power of two. It is written as two squared. Two is the length scale factor, and so instead of writing the two here, we can replace it with LSF or length scale factor. So we find that the relationship between the area scale factor and the length scale factor is that the area scale factor is equal to the length scale factor all squared. This fact is true for any two shapes that are similar. So in this case, we had rectangles. We could have had any two shapes. It could have been circles. It could have been squares. It could have been 3D shapes as well. And the area scale factor would always equal to the length scale factor squared. So we now have two cuboids and we've got the length, the height and the width of each of the cuboids. And we're going to compare the volumes to see what relationship, if any, there is with the area scale factor and the length scale factor. To calculate the volume of the smaller cuboid, we have volume, let's say V for short, is equal to two times three times 1.5. So two times three is six, six times 1.5 is nine, and our units are centimeters cubed. So that's the volume of the smaller cuboid. The volume of the larger cuboid would equal to four times six times three. Four times six is 24, 24 times three is 72, and so we have 72 centimeters cubed. So the volume scale factor is the number we multiply nine with to get 72, or the number we divide 72 by to get nine. And in this case, that number is eight. Nine times eight is 72, 72 divided by eight is nine. And so we can say that our volume scale factor, or VSF for short, is equal to eight. Now again, in this case, we can see that the volume scale factor, which is equal to eight, can be written as a multiple of two. Two to the power of three. And again, since we know that the length scale factor is equal to two, we can write that the VSF or volume scale factor equals to the length scale factor cubed. The volume scale factor and the length scale factor relationship is true for any two similar shapes. Another relationship which is less commonly used is that the volume scale factor is equal to the length scale factor multiplied by the area scale factor. So in this case, the volume scale factor was eight. And if we multiply the length scale factor and the area scale factor together, so two times four, we end up with eight. Remember the area scale factor can be written as the length scale factor all squared. So if we substitute that in, we have the volume scale factor 
equals to the length scale factor multiplied by the length scale factor all squared. And so since we've got the length scale factor times the length scale factor squared, we can simplify this to the volume scale factor equals to the length scale factor cubed. And we showed that before in this example. The area scale factor can be applied to the surface area of two similar 3D shapes. So in this case, if we work out the surface area of the smaller cuboid, we get the following. Surface area, SA for short, equals to, so we need to work out the area of each of the faces of the cuboid and add them together. So the front face and the back face are the same, and so the area of the front face is 2 times 3, which is 6, and then we just multiply that by 2 to work out the total area of the front and the back face. So in this case we get 12 centimeters cubed. If we work out the surface area of the faces on the side, we get that the surface area is equal to 1.5 multiplied by 2, so that would be 3, and then we want both of these faces, so we multiply that by 2. So we get 3 times 2, which is 6, so plus 6 centimeters cubed. So, so far we've done the front face, the back face, the two side faces, and then we also need to think about the bottom and the top faces. So in this case, that calculation would be 3 times 1.5, which is equal to 4.5, and then we multiply that by 2 to obtain the surface area of the top and the bottom face. So in this case, that would be 9 centimeters cubed. So the surface area of the smaller cuboid is equal to 12 plus 6 plus 9, which is 27 centimeters cubed. And I just realized these should be squared units since we're working out the surface area, so I'll just change that now. Working out the surface area of the larger cuboid, we get that the surface area equals to, so the area of the front face is 6 times 4, which is 24. That's the same as the back face, so we multiply that by 2 to give us 48 centimeters squared. And then the area of the faces on the side are equal to 3 times 4, which is 12 and then multiplied by 2, which gives us 24 centimeters squared. And finally, the area of the top and the bottom faces are equal to 6 times 3, which is 18, times 2, which is 36, so plus 36 centimeters squared. Adding these three together, we get that the surface area equals to, so 48 plus 24 is equal to 72, 72 plus 36 is equal to 108 centimeters squared. So we can see that to get from the smaller surface area to the larger surface area, we can multiply by a scale factor of 4. And to get from the larger surface area to the smaller surface area, we can divide 108 by a scale factor of 4 to give us 27. So therefore, the area scale factor is equal to 4. For surface area, we can still use the area scale factor. And so in summary, these are all of the key points that we just talked about in this video.